In this video, I'm going to show you how to share functions, create libraries of functions, and then import those functions into your own programs, which will give you the power to create new blocks like this movement pulse block that you see here, uh, which is down in my functions category. I showed in a previous video how to make multiple sprites grow and shrink using a pulse function that took a parameter. What I'd like to do today is show you how to turn that into a block that you can use in other programs. So to do that, I'm going to go back to my original code. Here I have all these different sprites. They're using a pulse function that takes a parameter, which is just the name of the sprite right here. And this is the function itself. I made this in a previous video. That's not anything new. Here's what's new. In order to use this in another program, you have to do a couple of things. The first one is you have to completely delete your draw loop, which is a little scary. Maybe I should, let's remix it, because I don't want to lose that other program. Okay, on this one, you have to completely delete your draw loop, and you have to completely delete all of the sprites you've created. And the only thing you need to keep is the function that was created and this helper variable called grow. And the last thing you need is you need to make sure that you have a comment right above the function explaining what it is. Now to get this into this other program, the first thing we need to do is click share and show advanced options and share as library. Here we need to give it a name. This is not a name of the function, but a name of the entire library of functions, which could hold lots of them. So I'm just going to call it movement. And then here I'll say special movements with sprites. And I'll select pulse and publish. When I do, it's going to give me a link, which is an ID. I'll just copy that. And then I'll come over to a new program. You know, let's just make a completely new one. All right, it's an empty program. And you notice there are no special blocks in here just yet. So I'll just create a sprite to show you what I'm doing. All right, my sprite is on the screen, and uh, let's call him cat. I'll make him a cat later. All right, now what we're going to be able to do is we can import this into the other new program. So let's go back to where it was. Okay, here we go. Now we can click this gear, click Manage Libraries, and this is where we can paste that ID that we got from the other program. And when we add that, everything looks the same until you click in Functions, and you'll see now we have a new block. So this block includes the function from the other program. We've shared that library. So now I can just use it the same way. This is a small thing, but this is a huge thing. It's really cool. 